what is going on guys broken profit here welcome back to the vlog here is hoping that the start of your week and your holiday season is going well i know it is getting close to you know the christmas season kwanzaa hanukkah whatever you a hey, whatever it is that you celebrate as well as the new year and it will behoove me is that right behoove me can i can i behoove myself anyway i just wanted to give you guys some holiday themed workings that will get you started going into the new year so that we can hit the ground running going into the new year. And speaking of going into the new year, January the 3rd, January the 3rd is going to be my next webinar, which is going to be on road openings. And we are going to go into different ways and methods on how to open roads to more, more money, more love, more luck, just better, better, better lives in general starting this new year it's not enough for us to say oh this year is going to be my year no now we're going to put our money and our magic where our mouths are and actually do the work necessary to make the next year our year but let's get started with this working and listen guys i know y'all look a quick story i know y'all like dang prophet you look like hell and normally i'd say i know you lying i know you lying but no, this time I would agree with you. I know I look kind of rough because I, I'm working off of no sleep at all or very little, very little, let's be honest, very little. Because this past Friday, well, we welcomed a new addition to the Hoodoo family and I was there for it. And I've, now I've got um, people in my house and I've got as a newborn here, as my nephew here. Um, I see my mama came down. I, I just got, I, it's just a bunch of folks in my house. There's a bunch of people in my house, so I'm getting no sleep. But anyway, thank you to my apprenticeship group. You guys were amazing and very understanding because I had to push class over one day, and then this happened. I had to push it over again, so, you know, it's a lot going on, okay? <laughs> a lot going on. But I do thank you guys for being so understanding. And I thank you y'all for being so understanding why I look so rough. But I'm still so ruggedly handsome. Anyway, let's get into this working. So, of course... You know, I'm going to go into some products that you could utilize to get this done. But I'm also going to give the traditional old fashioned way, which all it requires is a little bit of prayer, a little bit of faith and, you know, going outside a little bit. And we are going to do two workings on my two favorite subjects. I'm going to give you guys a holiday money working and I'm going to give you guys a holiday love working. So let's get into the money working first. And all you are going to need, besides your faith and your prayer, is a little bit of this right here. I guess you're going to need a bowl and some hot water, too. But you're going to need a little bit of this. This is, if you've guessed pine needle, you are correct. This is pine needle. Now, pine is a member of the evergreen uh, species of trees, meaning they stay green all through the winter. When we look out at the barrenness that is the, the winter um, season, right? Um, everything's dead. It's dry. It's, it's, you know, the trees are bony. The leaves are gone. But the pine is still green and fairly lush if you consider needles lush, right? And the ancestors saw this and thought about the abundance. And especially being in this country where money was green, you know, of course, they drew the conclusion between using the the evergreen or the pine needles for money and that's not just a hoodoo thing a lot of different spiritual practices drew the same conclusions because the pine is the only tree or the evergreens they're the only tree that stay green and abundant throughout the winter time as a matter of fact we talk about hoodoo the the winter season traditionally we require we we lean more heavily on our spirits and our ancestors because unless we were proactive in storing and drying our roots and herbs we didn't have many to work with that's why the winter the winter um the winter months are generally considered the dead months because that is a time when we um hey you going to lean on the spirits that you worked with because you don't have many roots and herbs to go out there and gather because it's cold and it is barren so right now we're going to work with the pine and utilize the pine to draw money. And like I said, it's gonna be very simple. All you are gonna need 
are pine needles. Now it's funny, I gave a similar work in, in my in class, and you never know. You can't assume what people know. Because I assume if I say pine needles, this is what you guys are gonna think. The Christmas tree. But if you're not from here and you're not from an area that has pine, because being from here, you think pine is everywhere. It is not. You start, you know, someone asked me, well, when he says the pine needles, what? And I was like, oh, you don't know what a pine, you, you don't know really? But yeah, <laughs> you are going to need the pine needles and you're going to strip the pine needles off and you're going to put them into a bowl. Now, traditionally, you want a green bowl, okay? Because this is going to be a working that's going to draw money. But if you cannot get a green bowl, don't worry. Use whatever kind of bowl you have. Now, you want to get a good fistful, you know, like, 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 you know, like if you're going to make a, a serving of spaghetti, those of you who know how to make spaghetti, because some of us just, I don't, I'll be honest. Whenever I cook spaghetti, I end up making enough spaghetti to feed the whole neighborhood. I don't know why. I can never measure it because when it's dry, that don't ever seem like enough spaghetti. But anyway, I'm rambling. So you get about that much, a, a good sized bundle or not of pine needles and you put them down into the green bowl. You are going to want some hot water. You pour the hot water over the pine needles. You should start to get the aromatic um, fragrance of pine. As you do, you are going to pray the 23rd Psalm. You know, the Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. But you're going to focus on the, the verses that speak of abundance. I, I shall not want. Okay. My cup runneth over. Yes, you're going to focus on those. But you know what else? You know what else that a lot of people overlook when they're utilizing the 23rd Psalm for drawing money? And that is, he maketh me to lie down in green pastures. So let me break this down for you. If you don't know sheep, right? Sheep don't just lay down. Sheep know that for a lot of creatures out there, they are food. And sheep have no natural defenses. I mean, they, they can run. That's it. But for the most part, they just, they are food. So when you know that you are a prey animal, you are always vigilant, always watchful. But when a sheep lies down, the sheep knows it is protected. It knows that all of its needs are met. Not only is it protected by a strong shepherd, thank you, but also it does not have to stay and forage for food. The fields are abundant. So when you pray these verses, cup runneth over, you want to see money flowing out of your cup. I shall not want. You need to visualize yourself not being hungry, not having to save too long for stuff. And when you see um, green pastures, I mean, you need to see abundant green fields. of. You need to see like Scrooge McDuck, you just swimming in money. Okay. And once you have prayed over that and you are in that mindset, um, you, want, you, you want a second one. Okay. And you take what is left. All right, you take the second one, because I forgot to tell you to have two. One that you strip the needles off of, one you're going to leave intact. And then you just go around your home and you dip it and fling it, dip it and fling it into the corners. And then go outside your house, dip it, and then paint dollar signs above your door. With, with you're going to utilize this like it's a brush and the hot pine needle mixture like it is your paint, and you're going to paint dollar signs above and on your door front and back why is it front and back why is that so important well the front usually symbolizes money coming in the back door will symbolize money going out because listen when, when we think about abundance and prosperity too often we focus on getting more money to come in but if you can stop money from going out oh you you'll be abundant trust me i know some celebrities who are very cash poor because they get a lot of money coming in, but they send a lot of money out. It comes as soon as it comes in the front door, they send it out the back door. Nothing stays in their hands. So this will keep money coming in the front, but it'll stop it from going out the back, which will keep you abundant going into the new year. And this tends to work fairly quickly. So you might get some money for Christmas if you need it. All right. You're welcome. Now, like I said, all you needed was pine leaves. You just got to go outside. If you would like to augment this working a little bit and you have some products, you know, you can burn uh, a money drawing candle, money drawing incense. And with your bowl, if you wanted to, you can draw, you can, you can dump some money drawing 
cologne into it or money drawing oil. That would be fine. Just don't overdo it. Just don't overdo it. All right. Now, back in the day, people would even make bath with this in the same manner. Not too hot, y'all. Don't be dumping. Don't do not dump some some fresh hot water from a tea kettle. Oh no. But people would, you know, do the same thing I told you, but bigger. Then they would step in it and then just wipe themselves down. And you can do that. I'm just, I'm just leaning away talking. You can do that if you feel like your money has been stripped away or somebody's working on it. Or maybe you just haven't made the best decisions with it and you want to turn things around. You can paint yourself with it just like the doorways and that'll help to turn you around. Okay? So there, that was the money working. Now, the love working, the love working is not going to be with pine. It's going to be with another holiday plant, mistletoe. That's right. We all heard about it. Mistletoe, you get a kiss up under the mistletoe and hey, they send little butterflies in, in your stomach, especially, especially if you at work and, you, and, you, and your work crush come to the holiday party and you happy to see them up under that mistletoe. You're like, well, I'm going in. Well, I'm going in. Well, <laughs> That is not the only thing that you can use mistletoe for. Because see, mistletoe entered hoodoo. Like I said, our ancestors were crafty. And mistletoe, if I don't know if you know it, but it grows really high in oak trees. I mean, it'll grow in poplar and apple trees, but it grows up high because it's kind of a parasite. Okay, it's kind of a parasite. So our ancestors would look and go, huh, well, it, it takes some hard work to get to that. Just like love. And that, that kiss up under the mistletoe puts, yeah, boy, puts some butterflies in your stomach. Just like love. It's like love. But the berries of mistletoe can be poisonous. So used incorrectly, it could be dangerous. Just like love. So there's, of course, this was a reason that way, you know, it entered hoodoo that way. Okay. Um, and through a little bit of working and formulating of workings, we found a method that works with mistletoe to draw love. Now, like I said, you don't have to come to me for it. You can go up there and get it yourself. But if you want to go to www.trueconjure.com, I got some mistletoe for you. And the instructions are right here on the bag. When you get this is dried and cut mistletoe. And all you've got to do is sprinkle it under your mattress or your pillow, and it will attract someone to you. Now, here's the key. You can't just sprinkle it up under there and wait for somebody to knock on your door. So what I tell folks to do is to, you know, get, you know, of course, take, take a, take a shower, you know, get all dolled up or fellas, you get all gussied up, put on some of your favorite cologne or perfume. Keep the person in mind that you are trying to attract and then recite from the book of Ruth and, and Ruth said, and treat me not to leave thee or to return from following after thee. For whether thou goest, I will go. And where thou lodgest, I will lodge. Thy people shall be my people, and thy God, my God. Powerful, powerful right? Or you can pick something from the Song of Solomon. The Song of Solomon um, is nothing but one long love poem. And then as you're reciting this, you sprinkle it around your bed or up under your pillow. Okay? Now, keep that person in mind, and that will uh, draw, draw and attract them to you. If you're in a relationship that seems to be getting a little stale, oh yeah, do that. It'll help, it'll help you too. If you have nobody in mind, well then you take this mistletoe, you put it in a red flannel bag and just keep it with you and watch and see, don't people just start to take a liking to you? Now this is the holiday season and, and this works so effectively because people, you know, tend to be in a good or decent mood during the holiday season. So they're more talkative. They're more apt to chat you up. So all you have to do is just capitalize on it. You standing in line in them long holiday lines and somebody says, oh yeah, I thought about getting that. And you talk back to them, all right? So there we go, guys. Gave you two workings, two holiday themed, holiday based workings. And you know, guys, I just wanna leave you with this. I know sometimes we have negative memories, negative feelings about the holidays. Listen, my only negative memories and feelings about the holidays are when Hoteppers come and they're like, well, you know, Jesus wasn't born on December 20th. I don't care. I don't care. I, I celebrate them every day. Or someone's like, well, you know, the basis is from pagans. I don't care. 
I do not care. I love me some Christmas. Run me my presents. <laughs> okay. But I know other people have other reasons. So, you know, let, let's, let, let's be kind to each other. That's all we have to do. It's holiday season. And people do generally seem to be a little nicer. They're not out robbing. But they seem to be a little bit nicer. So let's be kind to each other. You know, and if you don't have family to spend holidays with, like I said, for Thanksgiving, create you one. Call some coworkers. Call some friends up. You know, spread a little holiday cheer and see what you get some in return. Thank you so much. You guys have been amazing. I do appreciate it. Um, anything that I've mentioned in this video, you can procure at my site, www.trueconjure.com. But if not, mistletoe grows up in trees and pine grows on the pine tree. You can get them both. But anything else, I got you if you want to spend a few dollars with me. Thank you guys so much. I do appreciate you spending the time to watch this video. Do me a favor. If you got any value from this video, uh, hit that thumbs up button. Subscribe. Hit that bell icon. You guys have been amazing. I'm out of here. Happy holidays, people. Profit out.